Today I feel like playing some sports. Sports? In such cold weather? Everything's frozen. Of course, Rita. You could deal with the cold by doing exercise. Anyway, we just have to dress for it and then we'll be fine. But, but, but where do you want to go? Since everything's frozen, we could go to the lake and do some ice skating. <sighs> All right. But first, let me get my coat because I'm freezing. Hi, Milo. We're going ice skating. Do you want to come with us? You're not going to believe this, but we just thought the same thing. I'll go and get my skates. Off I go! Olga sure knows how to dominate the art of ice skating. Wow, you do that so well. It's no big deal. I can skate really well, too. Check me out. See, Moo Moo, I can do it, too. I'm about to fall. That's a piece of cake. Now you'll see what I can do. Look, Rita, I'm pretty good too. But you're going backwards. I know that. I'm doing it on purpose. But you're going to fall that way. Be careful. So, Alfred, you want to try? To tell you the truth, this skating thing doesn't do much for me. When was the last time you went skating? Well, actually, I have never skated before. It scares me a little. Don't be afraid, Alfred. You just need to slide into it. It's really easy. You'll see how well you do it once you try. I'll have to try it. Very good, Alfred. Now you just have to move your feet a little. I don't understand it. I'm paralyzed. I can't move at all. Don't you worry. I'm just going to push you a little bit so you'll see how easy it is. Very good, Alfred. <laughs> That's not funny, Rita. Yes, it is funny. <laughs> Oh, watch yourself. <laughs> You'd better quit laughing because going backwards like that, you'll end up falling on the ice too. Whoa! Can somebody tell me how I'm supposed to turn around? Sure. Slow it down and I'll help you. You see how easy? Now you can skate going forward. Things sure do look a lot better this way. Now what do I do? Uh... Whatever, Moo Moo. You skate backwards and that'll be fine. I've got it now. All I have to do is slide. It's actually easier than it looks. Good. Just go a little slower because you haven't learned how to brake yet. To brake? Nobody told me anything about braking. How do you do that? Ow! Uh, I'm sorry, Rita. Everybody get out of my way because I don't know how to stop. Milo, help me stop him. He's going out of control. You get on one side, and I'll get on the other. Help! Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Wow, Alfred. 
Have you noticed that you're the only one who hasn't fallen? idea what Mumu's doing? I have no idea, but she looks pretty confident, so she must know what she's doing. I think she wants us to play in the garden today. You know that Mumu always has some very strange ideas. Could be that she's painting the classroom a new color and took out all the chairs so that they wouldn't get stained. I don't think Mumu is planning on painting anything. You know how much she likes to play, <laughs> so I think she wants us to play something. But I don't know of any game that's played with chairs. I know how to play one that's really fun. You put a bunch of chairs in a circle, and everyone keeps going around them while the music plays. The moment the music stops, everyone sits down, and whoever is left without a chair gets eliminated. Then you take away another chair, and you play again until only one chair is left and two players remain. The winner is the one who's able to sit down. Wow, that sounds like fun. We can play the chair game today. Let's go talk to Mumu to see if she lets us play with her. Hi, Mumu. Why have you brought out all these chairs? Mm, I just felt like sitting in the garden. Is that it? You didn't bring them out to play with? Milo, chairs are only used for sitting down. You can't play with them. Unless you imagine that they're a car, or, or a plane, or... Well, we know of a really fun game to play with chairs. That's nice. So why are you telling me? Mumu, you've got five chairs in the garden and we want to play the chair game with them. But I don't want to play anything. I just want to sit and enjoy the scenery. Whatever you like. You could at least let us sit here with you. All right, then. I wonder what Moo Moo is doing with so many chairs next to each other. I'm sure she wants to play something. Well, I want to play with them, too. We can bring our own chairs to play with. Sounds like a good idea to me. Uh, I don't know where the other chairs are. I think Moo Moo must have taken them all. I saw one just underneath the slide. Well, let's get it and go with them. Hello, friends. What are you playing? We're not playing anything. We're just sitting here catching a bit of sun. Well, how boring. I thought you'd be playing some game with the chairs. Rita. You cannot play with chairs. They're only used for sitting. You can't play with them. That's not exactly true, Moo Moo. I know a very fun game that you can play using chairs. Please teach us how the game is played. There are six of us, right? Well, you put five chairs in a circle and everyone goes around them while the music plays. The moment the music stops, everyone has to sit down and whoever is left without a chair gets eliminated. Then you take away another chair and you play again until only one chair is left and two players remain. The winner is the one who's able to sit down. That sounds like fun! Why don't we play that game? All right then, but it seems like a silly game and very boring. You'll see, Moo Moo. Once you start playing, you'll want to play again. Are we all in position? All right. Now remember, when the music plays, we all go round and round. But when it stops, we all have to sit down. The one who's left out will get eliminated. 
Okay, start the music. <laughs> Oh, what bad luck. I was left without a chair. I'm so slow. I kept on dancing with no music. Play it again. <laughs> <laughs> Since I was little, I've never known how to swim, and I don't dare go in the water. I could drown. How do you know you don't know how to swim if you never tried? You have to try at least once. That way you'll know whether you can swim or not. Come on, be brave and jump in the water. We'll be here to help you. If something happens, we'll grab you right away. Come on, you can do it. We're here for you if you need us. <laughs> little frog, little frog, don't leave. We want to help you. Poor little frog. He was so scared that he didn't even try. Let's go ask the guys if they've seen him. Good morning, Good morning everyone. everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Have you seen a frog jumping anywhere around here? What do you mean a frog? There are no frogs here. All the frogs are in the lake. They're swimming. No, I haven't seen a thing. Hmm. Mm -mm. We saw a frog a moment ago that was really sad because it didn't know how to swim and was afraid that his friends wouldn't help him. We told him that we were going to help him, but he was really sad and jumped away. How can that be? All frogs know how to swim. How can that be? All frogs know how to swim. What are you, a parrot? I'm not a little parrot. I'm a cow. Talalo is a parrot. Talalo, Talalo, wake up. Talalo. Talalo, are you a cow? I already knew that. You are a parrot, aren't you? Well, if nobody's seen a little frog around here, we've got to keep looking for him. <laughs> Ribbit. <laughs> Hello, 
little frog. Little frog, I know of a way for you to learn how to swim. All right, see that puddle? It's so small, so small that it's impossible to drown in it because it's not deep at all. You have to jump in and you'll see that nothing will happen to you. Come jump with me into the puddle. As you can see, it's not very deep. The water only comes up to my knees. Now you gotta copy what I do. Swim, swim. Swim, swim, swim. Swim and swim, swim. You see, it wasn't that hard. Now you've just got to do the same thing in the big lake. Moo! Moo! 